I'm Matt Smith and I'm a trackside systems engineer at Roborace. So when, whenever we come to a new track and we want to do an autonomous run here, we need a, a, a GPS map that we can drive around, so we need to know what the drivable area is. So we're going to go map the track. Uh, we're going to create our track boundaries for our official track layout. We've got a kit here which is the same as what we have on the car, essentially. We wear that in a backpack and then we go out on a scooter, drive around the track, and then from that we can make ourselves a, a map. This is our chaos mapping vehicle that we use to map tracks. It's an electric scooter, unfortunately. AI scooters aren't out yet, so we're having to do it all manually, but you can get up to about 35 kph on this bad boy. Sort, sort me out, make sure I look good. No. What's, the, what's the best way of doing this? This isn't the most practical of solutions, but I'm ready to go, so. We can helm it up. We have an antenna, a disc antenna, and it's basically just a really high precision GPS device. So each time that we drive around, we can get a position accurate to about a centimetre, and it allows us to go around and generate a GPS map. And then we have that in the backpack and the same thing in the car. And then the map that we generate on one is transferable to the other. And then that allows us to, to replicate what we do on the scooter in the car. We do an inside line and then an outside line. And then from that, we get a boundary, a closed area that is a drivable area. So we're happy that between those two lines, the car can drive on that, on that track and it'll be safe. We could do it on foot. We used to do it in a road car and we can also do it with one of the race cars as well, but we chose this because it allows us to be a bit more precise with where we put the car. Often when we're doing these track maps, they're on street circuits, so you can't get really close up to the wall in a, in a car, so you have to get something like this or do it by foot or on a pedal bike. This just makes it a bit easier for all of us. Unfortunately, I don't get to drive the race car, so this is the closest I'm going to get to getting out on track and getting a bit of speed down the straight. Yeah, I look like a rebel doing this. <laughs> 